Let's not down the things that we would have um, in, in our minutes. So the first aspect I've spoken about is the title. Then under the title, you have the list of members present. You write them going down, eh? number one, so on. So number two, like that. Later, we're going to see an example. Then after you have written the members present, um, you write the list of members who are absent, okay? You also write them going down, number one, number two. If there are four people missing, then you write up to number four, okay? Um, after you have written your members who are absent, then another important item in your minutes is what we call the agenda. So your minutes must have an agenda, okay? We're going to see uh, how exactly you write this, but an agenda is something that contains the things that you are going to talk about, the items you are going to talk about or discuss in the meeting. Then um, after you have written your agenda, then you have a record of everything that has been discussed. We're also going to look at that. Then the time when the meeting ended, that is also very important in, um, in the last minute. Usually we either refer to it as closure or conclusion or closing prayer, but we're going to look at that. It must include the, the time that the meeting ended. Remember in the title, we talked about putting the fact that the meeting starts at a particular time, okay? So after you have written your time, then the last thing in the minutes, you must put uh, like signature lines for the secretary and signature lines for the chairperson. The ones for the secretary are on the left, while the ones for the chairperson are on the right. Faith, your hand is up. What are you asking before I move on? Madam, I you know, for me, I'm in form three and this is form four class. Faith, please look for the breakout room on your, on your screen. Eh? And, and, and go to the S3 class. I've already done that. It took me an hour to finish it. So I'm not going to go there right now. Okay, so uh, please lower your hand as well eh? as you search for the breakout room. Okay, so then um, just a few things to note before now we actually look at a real minute um, sample. Okay, when you're writing minutes, it is not necessary to mention everyone's name, okay? Certain things, like you can't say that uh, maybe uh, Juliet fought with Teddy, for example. The most you can record is that maybe there was a disagreement during the meeting. Okay, so you have to be okay. You have to be. Someone is giving us feedback. Please make sure you've all muted yourselves. So you you have to to be very careful. When you're dealing with controversial issues, you don't have to mention the name of a person who caused some controversy. So it's not always important to mention the name of a person, but sometimes it is useful, especially if you're going to say that uh, Ruth was voted in as the new chair, chairman of a meeting. So you don't just say someone was voted in. So you try not to mention names, but sometimes it is useful. 
even when someone presented a particular report, maybe you're having a prefects meeting and the head girl presented a report. So you can say the head girl, Tina Omoding, um, presented a report during the meeting. So sometimes it is necessary to have the names, but other times it is not important. Okay, then uh, in minutes, we don't do Lugambo. Eh? You simply note down the main point and you move on. You don't say, Tina said this, then Teddy said this, then Ruth said this, then Agatha said this, then Simon said this, that is Lugambo. Just note down the main point. If there was a discussion, what came out of the discussion? That's, that's important. Okay. Regan, please keep your microphone muted. So simply note down the main point. So you can just say maybe there was a disagreement on whether students should uh, wear open shoes on uniform and it was decided that all students must wear closed shoes. So something like that, just note down the main points when you're dealing with your minutes. Now, Keva, your hand is up, what is the problem? Please put down your hand because I haven't had a single thing you said. They include even the they include even those who are absent without the approach, and even those without approach. What about that? Okay, please lower your hand. I have had that question. Thank you. So um, we're going to look at the sample minutes and I'm going to answer your question. Are you good? Okay. So, um, we're now looking at a sample. Nakeva, you, you, you'll get your question answered. Yeah? So, like I said, the title is the most important thing, and I hope we can see it. Minutes of Liam High School Prefects Meeting held on 3rd July 2021 at 5 p.m. in the, okay? So that is the place. So the title must have the four things. What kind of minute, rather meeting is it? Here it is a Liam High School Prefects meeting. Then the date, 3rd July, 2021, the time, 5 p.m. and the venue. So those four things are very important in your title. Once you have finished writing your title, then you can have your members present like you see here, okay? And uh, because it is English language, we start with the first name and then you can have the surname coming last. If someone doesn't have a first name, then they can have both their surnames. Then you write, the list going down like this one two three four five until the very last person so for exam purposes you must think about which names you're going to use in your minutes then after you have written the members present please make sure that this is underlined members present should be underlined that is why here it is in bold and then members present, rather absent, with apology, there's an error here. Um, sorry, just a moment. Thank you. 
Okay. Okay. So after you have your members present, then you can have your members absent with apology. If there are two people missing, then you write their names. That is if they actually sent in an apology. Now, if they did not send in an apology, then after you have written those who apologized or sent in an apology, then you can have members absent without apology. So the ones who haven't sent in an apology come last when you're writing your list of uh, attendants or people who are supposed to have attended the meeting. After you have done that, then you write your agenda. Okay. So because we're doing this aspect for exam purposes, there are those things that are always a must when you're writing your agenda. For example, number one, the opening prayer, that one is a must. Communication from the chairman or chairperson, that one is a must. Then uh, you'll find that in the question, the question gives you certain items that uh, have to be talked about in your meeting. So now those become number three, number four, number five. Um, you can choose to have A or B or not. But in, in um, modern meetings, these days we don't really have A or B. So you can choose to have A or B or not. Then the very last um, on the agenda is usually the closing prayer. And this is where you put even the time that the meeting ended, okay? So this is how a sample agenda would look like. It can be drawn from the question that you are given. But uh, number one and number two are usually constant. And then the last item is usually the closing prayer. Okay, I hope that is clear. Then, because this is revision, some of the things I'm just uh, glossing over. But uh, when someone gets a question, please put up your hand eh, and ask. Stella. <laughs> yes, Stella. Okay. Mm -hmm. Madam. Yes. Is it a must that we have to write the first names when we are writing the members present or absent? Begin with first name. That is the usual. It's not a must, but it is the usual. Okay. Waswa? How about is it allowed to skip any line? Let me say after writing. And then skip any mm. writing. No, as well, we don't skip any lines. Eh? We don't skip any lines. After you have written members present, you just underline the subtitle, then you have your list. Then on the very last line, if you have nine members, after number nine, yes. write yes. the next line. Eh? Members yes. absent with apology, you underline it, then you write your list like that. So please don't skip any lines. Okay. We Wunen. Nawin, are you asking something? Yes, sure. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. I wanted now if the meeting is in the second term. Hello? Nawin, I haven't heard your question. The, this meeting is in the second term. And they they are told us that if they if the meeting okay if they are this if if it is not the first time we should not start from the first minute we should start from the minute of the last term. I haven't understood your question. I was trying to ask that here we have started with minute one opening prayer, 
Now I was mm. thinking that we should start like from like the minute we had ended from the other term. Mm. No, 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 no. That's not what it is. Eh? For every minute recording that is done, eh? you start from minute one and minute one is usually the opening prayer. So it is probably in this other numbering. Eh? I hope you can see where my cursor is. If it's um, the general prefect's meeting, maybe if it is number two, then you can have GPM two. Okay, so that's a man knows that this is a second meeting and not the, the first one. Okay. Okay. Mm. So always the minutes begin from minute one, which is the opening prayer. Samira, Rosemary, please switch off your video. I don't know what you want us to see, but turn your video off because you're not different enough for our lesson. Eh? And then ask your question. Samira, are you asking a question? Okay, so allow me to continue. So for now, hands down, please. Hands down. Um, I'll take another set of questions in the next 10 minutes. Eh? Let's first continue. Okay, um, so like we see here, our agenda said number one, the item was opening prayer. So you begin by using abbreviations, eh? minute. So minute is abbreviated into min one. That is minute number one, eh? stroke. Now, depending on the type of minute, that is why we said that the type is very important when you are writing, when you're writing your title. Eh? So here it's a, a general prefects meeting. That is why we have put GPM. If it's a class meeting, then you can put CM. If it's a club meeting, it can also be CM. So you choose your abbreviations according to the type of project that you have. Then this particular minute, uh, because they happened in July 2021, that is the, the abbreviation you've seen here, the 07 stroke 2021 here. Then you put a full colon, the two dots, one above the other, and then the name of the meaning, opening prayer. Okay. So like we said, the tense should be past tense. That is why you have the prayer was led by Miss Nakato Deborah. So here we have put bullets, but you can choose to put each in paragraph form. So you then let's imagine that um, we have a margin here. So this would be a paragraph a few centimeters from the line, then you write the prayer was led by Miss Nakato Deborah. You can even have the time at 2 p.m. Then you continue to your next um, minute. So minute two, our minute two was communication from the chairperson. Ensure that your numbering is consistent. So the type of minutes, then the date, then you have the colon, then the title. Okay, so we have the various paragraphs. She welcomed members to the meeting. She noted that the students have behaved well. Candidates must be cautioned. So the tense remains past tense. And uh, we don't have any names here. So, like we, we agreed on earlier, you try not to mention names, except if someone presented a report or there's a crucial discussion um, that had been about them. So it would be important for their names to be mentioned. Or if you voted for people, then the name should also be mentioned. Okay. And um, 
you continue to your other minutes. So you just ensure that your numbering is consistent. You abbreviate the word minutes to mean, uh, mean for stroke, you put the, the abbreviation you've chosen, then you put the date, then the colon and the subtitle that is supposed to be. And then ensure that you maintain the past tense. So we have just samples here. She thanked members, she did this, she encouraged. The prefects were reminded to do this. It was suggested, it was noted. So the language that you use should be that formal and in past tense, okay? Then you continue and make sure you deal with all the items in your agenda. So here item number five, which is mean five here, is a reading of previous minutes and reactions. So you can say something like, uh, the secretary took members through the previous minutes and um, members agreed that they were a true record of what had transpired. Then um, the issue of timekeeping was addressed. The metron had sorted out. So you, you, you look at um, what changes have happened since the minutes were taken, the previous, since the previous minutes were taken. And then you move to minute six which is, could be any other business. Sometimes it could be, sometimes you, you don't have to have it. And then you, in any other business, you put anything that is not uh, pertinent to the meeting. Maybe it was a club meeting. So in any other business, you, you can put like, um, the S4s have a, you know, a dance later that day or something like that. So anything that is not directly connected to the minutes that you are after. So here, because it's a prefects meeting, prefects were reminded to wear their badges. Um, the patron, the prefects patron, saints birthday. You know the prefects party was slated for this. So anything that is not pertinent to the meeting comes in any other business. And then the very last minute, usually the same for all minutes, is the closing prayer. So under closing prayer, you put the time that the meeting ended and who prayed. The meeting ended at 7 p.m. with a closing prayer from so on. So if you don't want to put the name, you can just put the meeting ended at 6 p.m. with a closing prayer. Then after you have finished your, with your last um, minute, then you can get into um, these signing spaces. Like I said earlier, the one for the secretary is on the left and the one for the chairperson is on the right. So you don't sign the minutes, but you draw a line eh, to show that someone is supposed to sign there. So the secretary's line is on the left, while the chairperson's line is on the right. Okay. So the way you see it here is the way your minutes are supposed to, to end. This should be like the last lines of your minutes. So the signing spaces, then the secretary on the left, the chairperson on the right. Okay. Uh, I think now I can take some questions. Barry, you're asking something? Excuse me, teacher. Yes, please. This zero seven on the date. Hmm. It is standing for the minute or the month. The month. Yeah, if I put the name of the secretary and the chairperson. Mm, you can put them. 
but they are not very important because they keep changing. Yeah? You can put the names, you can choose to leave them out. It's, it would still be okay. Okay. Kusemera Collins. Collins, are you asking a question? Okay, Collins is failing to speak. Rosemary. Hello. Rosemary, you're also failing to speak. Where are you? Vicky? Don't put it. Rosemary, I haven't heard what you asked. Madam, I was like, where are you? Yes, please. Rosemary, you're unclear. Nakeva, ask. Madam, I'm asking. We all put the words on that means the only says or not. Where do you want to put Mr. or Mrs.? Imagine. Sorry? On the margin. Imagine. No, 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 no. In, in, when, when you're writing your list, you don't have to put their titles. Because as a secretary in any meeting, usually you all the people in the meeting, your age mates. Eh? So titles are not important. Waswa, are you asking something? Yes, teacher. What, what are you? Yes, like for the fact that as I'm the secretary, as for the other point of reading of previous minutes and reactions, I'm going to say something mm. to say. Yeah, I read. Okay. I'm saying <laughs> that read through. Mm. Mm. <laughs> okay. You, you don't have to put I read, much as you're the secretary. You can just put in report, uh, that is uh, passive voice, eh? the minutes were read by the secretary. Okay? <laughs> put in passive voice. So the minutes were read by the secretary. And the following changes have been made, that kind of thing. Yes, Becky? Okay, madam, I want to understand the meaning of AOB in minute six. Oh, that is any other business. Huh? Any other business. So any anything that has been discussed that is not directly connected to the minutes huh? is, is what you put in the AOB in the, any other business. Okay, I hope I've answered your question. Gina? Yes. Mm -hmm. Your hand is up. Yes, please. <laughs> Gina, your hand clear. Is it a must to put what? Like I said, the question will, will guide you on what other items to include in your agenda. Usually, the reading of the previous minutes is there. 
But if it's not there, you don't have to put it there because that might be the first meeting that you are having. So there are no previous minutes. So it, it will depend on the question. Okay. okay. Uh, Faith and Rosemary, you'll be the last people. Then I get into the questions that are in the chat. Okay, Madam Angel, do I want you to know, like when you're labeling, like when you're labeling the agenda, where do you put it outside the margin of inside? Mm, outside the margin. It's supposed to be outside. Okay. Like you would number in any on any paper. Okay. Sure. Okay. 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 Which one is supposed to be on the left? For your questions are not clear. Your, your network is not very good. Eh? Please, madam, are we supposed to sign on behalf of the chair person? Or you just leave the space blank? You leave the space blank, okay? Remember, you're just writing the minutes. So there's no one has gone through them yet to sign. So you leave the space blank. Okay. Excuse me. Okay. Um, please, all of you should mute. I am now looking at the questions in, in, the, in the chat. Okay, Joy is asking in the chat, is the information usually given uh, in a question? The question will spell out for you some items that you have to include on the agenda. So you make sure that you include them in your agenda. Joy, I hope that is answered. Then uh, Maxi, can I write M-I-N as in, yes, you can in your title. I hope we have seen that uh, even here. I hope you can see me at five. Then, someone um, else is asking, is it appropriate to skip a line after the agenda? I said no skipping lines. So we don't skip lines anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Then minutes cannot have more than one secretary. So it should always be one secretary. Please mute yourself until you finish the question in the chat. Um, What does GPM mean? GPM, remember we said that this is a general prefects meeting. Eh? So that abbreviation is, is for that our type of minute is, is uh, a prefects meeting. That is why we have GPM. Mm, which other question? A or B that one I've answered. Skipping lines, I've talked about that. Okay, we don't skip any lines. We just do indented paragraphs. Eh? So make sure that every item you talk about is in an indented paragraph. I think those are the questions in the chat. Thank you very much for those who posted the chat. Okay. So I want to leave you with this question. Excuse me, madam. 
Okay. Someone seems to be having a question. Please copy that down eh? wherever you've been writing. I hope we've been writing. Taban, mm -hmm. asking something. Yes, madam. Taban. I have a question. Mm -hmm. uh, if, if you were. Uh, Yeah. yeah, if you are asked that you are the secretary mm. of a specific village, like mm. maybe Kazo village, are you supposed mm. to write the same thing? Are you supposed to write the same thing that was given to you? Are you supposed to write the like the minutes in, in the same way you have given us? Yes, though some there would be some changes. Eh? For example, instead of GPM, which is a prefix meeting. You can put as of village, so someone would actually mm. understand. So it depends on the question. You you keep changing certain things depending on the question. But things like opening prayer, those ones are constant. Uh, communication from the chairperson because every meeting must have a chairperson. Those ones are constant. So there are certain things that you would change. But other things might have to remain the same. Kabana, I hope I've answered your question. Ah. Okay, thank you very much, madam. Okay. Any other question? Okay, so I hope I have reminded you of uh, how to write your minutes. I know this is something that many of you have done in various schools. So please try out this particular one. Um, and here, because it is a, a, a reader's club, you must come up with whatever you're going to discuss. So here the items on the, ag on the agenda haven't been given to you. It has been left to your creativity. So try and work that question out, and then uh, we'll see how to start with that, probably in the next lesson that we have. Flavia, is your hand up? Thank you, madam. Madam, mm -hmm. um, is there any other lesson after this? Let me check the time table. Um, just a moment. Excuse me, madam. Yes, please. Um, we, we, what, if, what if we have a class meeting? Then... Then, then that class meeting, there we have a class monitor and a class monitress. They are going mm. to all be. But how how can we do it? They are they all have minutes, or we put them in one minute, like communication. Mm -hmm. You put each one in a separate minute. Huh? Yeah. Each one must have their separate minute, so you can put the the head boy and then the head girl separately, yeah? one after another. Okay, thank you. Um, from the timetable that I'm looking at, it looks like you, you, what do you, just a moment, sorry, sorry. No, there's no other lesson. No? There's no other lesson, so today we have English language. Then, madam, I'm also asking for a link into one of the groups. I lost my contacts. Poverty. A link into which group? Any of the, the senior four groups. Four groups. Senior four E, I think. Mm -hmm. But now I lost all my contacts, so even I lost all the groups. Okay. Um, please put your number in the chat. Huh?
Flavia, I hope you're doing that. Eh? Okay. Okay. Mr. Kaziba has sent a link in the chat. Eh? So please use that chat to, to get you to where you want to be. Okay, people, the, we have about five minutes. I have left you with an assignment, and I hope I've, I've uh, jogged your memory on how to write um, the minutes. Huh? So I hope all of us can actually write them now eh, for exam purposes. Uh, in the chat, someone is asking, what if you don't number the names? It is always wise that you number the names so that someone can see how many people attend the, the meeting. Yeah? So it is wise to number the names. Please number them. Uh, then someone is saying at our school, we put the chairperson on the left. Please, the chairperson is supposed to be on the right. Okay? They are the most important person, so they go on the right. Excuse me, teacher. Yes, please. Uh, where, where is the assignment going to be there? It's on the screen. On the screen, eh? Mm. Can well, you see it? Okay. Yeah. Okay. You can just take a screenshot. I'm about to stop sharing. Tony, are you putting up? Yes, madam. Hmm, what is the problem? Like, where are we going to post? Are we going to submit it for, for Marco? No, we'll just discuss it in our next lesson. Remember, our holiday is short. Huh? So we'll just discuss it in the next lesson. If you have any challenges? Or things like that. Okay. Kale, I think everyone has now finished to copy the questions down. Uh, I'd like to end my lesson here. I hope each one of us has written something and uh, been reminded of something. Have a good evening. Madam, Bye. thank you. Good night. Thank you, madam. Thank you very much. Thank you, Madam. Good night. Madam, thank you for teaching me. Madam, good night.